Hey everyone, what's going on? Math God Pi here, and today I'm bringing you the first ever episode of my new video series called Can It Be Done? So for each video in this series, I'll make a tough challenge, I'll invite you to try it, and then I'll show you the solution. For our first challenge here, we have Demilitarized Zone. Basically, it's chimps on spillway with no military monkeys and a lot of other restrictions as well. If you'd like to give it a try, feel free to pause the video and try it out. You'll find the challenge code right there on the screen. If you just want to see the solution, stick around because it's starting right now. Start by placing a dart monkey, two, one, zero. On round eight, you're gonna to need to purchase the triple shot as soon as possible. Like the very, very soonest moment you can get the money. Now the next thing you're gonna purchase as soon as you have the money is Oban Greenfoot or Oban Redfoot or whatever skin you might have, it doesn't really matter. Just be careful with the placement, you gotta place him where the edge of his range lines up exactly with the line there on the roof of the tunnel thingy. So just make sure you're lining that up properly. Up next, you're gonna place another dart monkey this time close to where Oban is, but be very precise with the placement. Make sure that it looks exactly the same as it looks on screen when you place it. And get it up to crossbow, zero, two, three. Next, place a wizard. And purchase guiding magic, one, zero, zero. Now buy enhanced eyesight for your dart monkey in the middle and switch his targeting is strong. Your next purchase is going to be a village. Once again your placement has to be very precise. You got to place him in a very particular spot because later on you're going to need the village range to be a certain way when you place towers. So you got to be spot on here. Go ahead and get your village up to 022 Monkey Commerce. Then upgrade your wizard to Intense Magic, Arcane Blast, and Arcane Mastery. And also Monkey Sense. Now just a few things you gotta do before facing the Moab. You have to get your village up to primary training. You have to place a Moab Mauler on the upper left part of the map, but you gotta be careful where you place it. And you have to remove the wall on the right part of the map. Now you can also use Oban's Brambles on the Moab to make things easier, but you don't have to. So your next two purchases are going to be Super Monkey, placed as close as possible to the water and the wizard as possible. And after that, Arcane Spike for your wizard. And then your next purchase after that is going to be the Dark Knight upgrade 003 on your Super Monkey, but don't get Plasma. Leave your Super Monkey as 003 until you pass round 62 and before starting round 63. If you get the Plasma upgrade too early on round 62, you'll die to the purples, so that's why you don't want to get Plasma until after you pass round 62. Now as for round 63, you're going to need plasma for that round, so make sure you upgrade at the correct time. So right about now, you can go ahead and upgrade to plasma blasts. Your next purchase is going to be the Crossbow Master as soon as you have the money, round 75. Now by round 86, it's a pretty good idea to turn off auto start because on round 87, we had a really, really close call and you'll see what I mean. We need a glue gunner exactly as shown in the exact spot shown. Get it up to 
0.013 Moab glue. Just as we're popping balloons and feeling good about ourselves, a pink balloon almost sneaks past the exit, but it gets sniped at the very last second by our arcane spike. So because of this, I felt like doing the round over again just to double check our strat and uh, guess what happens. You guessed it. Deja vu, my friends. The lesson here, use Oban's abilities to make the round a bit easier. But from here you have smooth sailing until round 94. Once you get to round 94, during the round you're going to have to purchase Dark Champion as soon as the money comes in, like at the very soonest moment. If you don't have auto start turned off by now, you should really turn it off by now. Because if you go into the late rounds with it still on, you could run the risk of not doing something you're supposed to do and then you could lose because of it. Also upgrade your glue gunner to relentless glue as soon as possible and get primary mentoring on your village. So at round 98, we have to do a bunch of stuff. First, we have to dark shift our dark champion. We have to dark shift him to a very precise spot right beside Oban, but it's got to be in a spot where he can be nice and close to the center part of the map so he can hit the center part of the map as much as he needs to. And so we're going to zoom in here to really show you the precise placement of the dark champion. Next, you're going to buy a boomerang monkey. You're going to place him as close as possible to the wizard and to the water as possible. Pretty much where your dark champion used to be. Upgrade him to 204. Moab press with glives. You're going to need two more of these, so place them exactly where I place them. Both of them also 204. Two more things to take note of before we start round 98. As soon as the round starts, you're going to use both of Oven's abilities immediately. And you're going to upgrade the glue gunner to glue splatter as soon as the money comes in for it. Now just a little trick for this round, you can put the crossbow master on last just for the first few seconds or so to help clear out the upper right section of the map more quickly and then switch to first. Or you can just leave it on first the whole time, but if you leave it on first the whole time, it's kind of a close call. So I'd recommend putting the targeting on last on the crossbow master just for a few seconds and then switching to first. So as you can see, these Moai Press Glives are giving us insane knockbacks. Really holding off the blimps so that we have time to finish them off.
don't worry about round 99, it should be a piece of cake. Just play it on slow-mo. Okay, so for round 100, we're going to have to do some stuff here. Get frag bombs for your Moab Muller. Dark shift your dark champion to the upper left part of the map. And also remove the lower wall, the south wall. When your dark champion stops shooting the BAD, dark shift to the lower right part of the map, but in a sweet spot where you can shoot through the window and through the tunnel. Use both of Oban's abilities at the very start of the round and keep using his brambles as often as possible and as long as you follow all of those instructions and do everything that's on screen you should win. So you wanna go to war with me You're talking like you think you're royalty You think that I'm afraid But I don't break I heard you question my stability You think I'll fall just like a guillotine But I am here to stay Won't look And make sure you dark shift your dark champion near the end, at the very end, so that you catch any leaks. And this is getting pretty intense. I don't know what's going to happen. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Those knockbacks are so OP. <laughs> Looks like we did it. Vic so re. Thanks so much everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed trying the challenge if you tried it. And if not, that's okay. I'm just glad that you watched the video. And let me know if you want me to make more videos just like this. Let me know if you like this format. If you like seeing me make challenges and showing you the solution and stuff. And other than that, thanks once again. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers! Who died and made you king of anything? You think that I...